everyone. Today I'm just going to quickly show you how to transfer all your old transaction kits from the original Web Forms into the new Web Forms 2019. Um, you're going to want to transfer all your old transactions that you want to keep before January 2020. Um, as of the new year, we will no longer be able to access the old Web Forms. Also, as of December 16th, you will no longer be able to create new transaction kits into the old Web Forms as well. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to start off in the brand new web forms, as I am right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the legacy version button, which will take me back to the older web forms. It's going to give me a quick backup, and then I'm just going to go to legacy. OK, and here's the warning on December 16th. Legacy will be switched to read-only mode. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab any old transaction kit. Um, and I'm just going to click on my test kit here. And now it's going to tell me up front, up top here, whether or not my transaction kit has been migrated or not. So it'll help you keep track of which ones you've sent over and which ones you haven't. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to go send kit to Web Forms 2019. And it's just going to load a little bit and it's going to look like nothing has happened. Um, but now if I go to switch to Web Forms 2019, we'll be able to see that the newest one that I've put in right here has now come to my new web forms. Now I should point out that when you are transferring over your transaction rooms, it doesn't end up being editable and it's only editable, editable. It's only going to display it as a PDF. So this is a way to save your own just to have it on file, but they're not actually gonna be able for you to like edit and, and play around with. So if you are using old transaction kits to use as like a template or a guideline, you might want to create your new transactions as templates into the new web forms. Um, that's it for um, putting them through. Uh, the other thing I should point out is you do have to do it one at a time. So there's no way to bulk transfer all your transactions over. So the best thing is just maybe do the ones that you care about the most or or maybe like the most recent ones. Um, but yet there is no way to transfer over all the bulk of your transactions. You have to do it one at a time. Okay, great. Thanks so much.